Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Let's be on our feet. For come Jesus. For come Baba. This is the second time you will sing this song. Sing it so that God can help you your spiritual understanding. Sing it so that He can give you grace to live a life of holiness, a life of righteousness, a life of purity, and a life that will glorify God. I want you to sing it all authentically. Father, we thank you, worship you, we glorify your holy name for making us this beautiful and wonderful day. Father, we receive our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I pray as I want to speak your word. Father, Lord, I pray you will minister through me in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I pray that you will remove the heart of stone and give us the heart of flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious mighty name I pray. Please let's open our Bible to Proverbs 20, verse 29. And it says, The glory of the young men is their strength, and the splendor of an old man is their gray hair. This morning, the Lord is asking us that what are we using our strength for? Are we using it for the Lord, or are we using it for the devil? The only person we can receive reward from is from God. Is the reward of those that diligently seek Him. So when we use our strength for Him, it will reward us. I will make it to heaven at last. But when you use your strength for the devil, the only place, the only reward He can give to you is to go to hell. And I pray you shall not go to hell in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's open our Bible to Ecclesiastes 12 verse 1. And it says, remember now your creator in the days of your youth, before the difficult days come, and the years draw near when you will say, I have no pleasure in them. There are men in the Bible that use their youthful age for the Lord. Example of them are Daniel and David. Today I would like to talk on Daniel. Daniel used his strength for the Lord, and he was able to stand before kings. He was able to stand before anybody and speak God's word to, 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 to them. And, and I believe that today, the Lord shall give you strength that you shall use to serve him in the mighty name of Jesus. Youth, let's open our Bible to Psalm 127. Psalm 127, verse 3. Behold, 
children are heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward, like arrows in the hand of a warrior. So are children of one's youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but shall speak with enemies in their gates. Youth can either be an arrow in the hands of God or, in the, or an arrow in the hands of the devil, depending on who you submit yourself to. So today, I believe we will submit ourselves to God so that he can use us mightily. And I would like to advise those that believe that God might be using you. Example, example of them are Samson. He had the strength, but he used it for the devil. Even though he felt that the presence of God was still with him, but no. The presence of God left him the very first day he fornicated. So I will beg us this morning to use our strength for the Lord. Let's go back to Proverbs 20 verse 29. We can only use our strength to seek the face of God because when we are hold, it might not be possible. And it's a time to generate, germinate good seed. It is also a time to work endlessly for God. Let's, I've been given the handouts. Let's go to watch what you watch or read. Are we all there? Are we all there? Because I came to this podium to pray. But I would just like to brief us with the word of God. Where I said, I encourage you all to turn away from washing all these dirty materials that are not safe for your spiritual good and knowledge. I know people might be wondering that, is it, is, is it compulsory for us not to watch TV? I am not saying you should not watch television, but you should look at what you watch. Because Christianity is not all about rules and regulation. I believe it's your work with God that will determine what you can do and what you can do. Only, the, only when you work with God, He can lead and direct you. Because He said, He's going to send, he's, he's going to send the Holy Spirit to teach us what we don't know. And I believe this morning that we, sh we, sh we shall have a close relationship with God so that He can direct and lead us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's stand up and pray. We are going to pray. We are going to tell God to meet with us. We are going to tell God that He should allow us, He should give us grace to use the strength for Him. Because there is a great reward when we use the strength for Him. A great reward, in fact, a reward that our children, children, children to come we enjoy. Just like Abraham. We all know the song hey, Abraham blesses the mind. We are still enjoying his blessing. Look at when he died. We are still enjoying his blessing to him now. Look at Daniel. People still talk about Daniel. People still talk, people still talk about Daniel. People still talk about Elijah. Elijah was the man that was filled with power. And I believe that today, the Lord shall pour out his power on every one of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray. Let's tell God to give us the grace to know him. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. Let's tell God to touch our lives. Let's tell God to transform our lives. Let's tell God to transform our destiny for his glory. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are not praying. I can't hear your voice. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When we walk with the Lord in the light of His world, for the glory He sheds on our way. When we do His good will, He'll abide with us. Oh, 
trust and obey. Trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. He touched me. He touched me. All the joy of the Lord the flood my soul. Something happened and now I know He touched me. to sing this song because I'll drop the mic now. He touched me. He touched me. shall touch everyone yet today in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. You will not perish in Jesus' name. I will be praying for you always. Ah, this girl. <laughs>